Hey everybody, do you know what's really cool? Mouse effects or mice, mouse trails, like the one I'm showing you right now. I'm actually going to be teaching you how to make this one. I really like this mouse trail because there's so many things that you can do to customize it and make it how you like it. So let's get started. You can choose any sprite you want. I'll choose a heart, which has coded on it. It's really big, so I'll make it something smaller, like 50. For now, I'm just going to hide the mouse effect, and we're going to focus on the heart candy. So first, we have to make its basic moving script. So we'll say events when being black clicked forever. First, you can just drag out, go to random position block, and change it to mouse pointer. So it's pretty direct. But now, if you all, all guys all know mouse uh, glide blocks, so you know that they're really smooth, so they look really nice. So the next block I'm gonna do is gonna help it be uh, more smooth. So take out move 10 steps block from operators, take out the Y. And from the sensing category, there's a distance to mouse pointer. Put it in the first, and in the second, we're gonna do four. And you can just drag it in here. So you see, it's actually a little bit more smoother now. So it looks nicer. Now, the next program we're gonna make is just really simple. Take out forever loop again, and just from a control, take out the block, create a clone of myself. So now, if you do this, this is gonna happen. But this is not what we want. So we have to program our clone. So we're going to say when I start as a clone. First we're going to set some things up. Here. Take out the set color block. And take out two of those. One is going to be color and one is going to be ghost. From operators take out a pick random 1 to 10. And put it in both. So the color effect can be anywhere from 1 to 100 or if you want even bigger and ghost effect if you do one then it can be very visible that's not what we want and if you do 100 there's a chance that we won't be able to see it so that's also not what we want <laughs> so maybe 55 to 80 seems good so this is our simple program and now we need to do our harder one there's going to need to be a time where it just disappears, so it fades away. We don't want it that all of a sudden it disappears. We want it that it's slowly decreasing its size, it's slowly gaining ghost effect, and then it'll slowly disappear. So let's put a, when I start as clone, repeat until operators take out the equal. And when we go down to looks and we scroll to the bottom, there's a size block. We're going to take that out. So we're going to say when I start as a clone, repeat until size equal to, I'll put 8. We're going to have to change its size, obviously, because then if we don't do that, it's actually never going to reach 8. So I'll put negative 2. Though if you chose an odd number, like 7, and... 50 and 8, it's going to work out, but 7 from 8, you do minus 2, 6. So it's not going to be as smooth. So then you can do a negative, you can do a odd number, or you can change this to an even number. We're going to change size by 2. We're going to change the ghost effect by 1, so that's slowly just disappearing. And this just makes it a little smoother. Take out the move 10 steps block and just do one. It's one step is really small, so it won't really make a difference, though it makes a very tiny difference. And then at the end of the program, we're gonna delete the clone. You don't put it here, because then it's not gonna go again. And then it might have not reached eight. Though if we don't put this, then this is what's gonna happen. 
See, it's leaving small trails, and we don't want that to happen, so we have to delete the clone. And now we got this. If you want some turning effect, I'm going to go back to this, and we have this effect. So, basically, I'm going to just show this. And I'm just going to hide this for now, and if I do this, then see, the before when I showed you it, I, it was like turning a little, but now it doesn't. So you can decide which one you like more. So basically, this program is pretty simple. Just from motion, take out the pointing direction and change it to whatever you want, but not greater than 360. You can do 360 to negative 360, because a circle has 360 degrees. And then we want it to keep on turning, but if you just want it to start out, in a random direction, do this. So if you want it to keep on turning, do the turn block and you can choose how much you want it to turn. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and I'm going to put it over here. So now, if you make this show, and now we've got a turning effect. So it's actually pretty simple, so it might be a little confusing at first. But it's a really good example of cloning. And there's so many different effects and you can always make your own. So it's really cool and it adds some touches to your project. I hope you like mouse effects and I hope you like mine. Bye!